Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Zodiac Age, and in this episode we're going to be exploring the ancient city of Givy Vegan. Stay tuned. Right, first thing to note is that this place is really the start of a substantially large dungeon, but we're only actually going to be exploring part of the area today, so don't get too excited, there's tremendously good treasures and that to be looted from the dungeon ahead, uh, but we won't be doing that in this episode because uh, we won't be able to access it, so we're just going to be doing what we need to do for the story and going on from there. So we're going to start by heading down the west corridor, uh, pretty obvious really, and this will take us to our first waystone of the dungeon, so we're going to go ahead and access this. And interestingly, we're going to get thrust into a battle almost immediately. So here's how we're going to prepare for this encounter. And probably should have done this before the save, uh, the save point. So that should the worst come to the worst, we haven't got to redo this. But I don't expect to die on this fight, which is why I didn't bother. Uh, but you may want to, depending on your levels and what have you. So first thing first, you're going to want to make sure that you're set up to dispel haste. Since this boss is going to be casting haste quite regularly. And quite basically, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Especially if you're low level, uh, his fast attacks will make him very, very difficult to outheal and you're going to find yourself wiping out pretty darn quickly. Right, you're also going to want to make sure that your characters are nicely stacked up with Protect, and if possible, Haste. So throwing a Haste to Motan is probably going to be a good idea. And also, a Decoy is going to be useful as well, in all honesty. Now, you don't really need Ribbons in this encounter, since I don't believe there's a whole lot of status effects, uh, other than, of course, Haste, which you need to spell off the boss. But that obviously isn't status effects that are negative on your party for Ribbon to use. So you can go ahead and equip other accessories that will boost your damage, your speed, things of that nature. Uh, we're going to keep Decoy on Varn. And I'm also going to equip him with a Bubble Shield since he's going to be our main tank throughout this fight. No, not Blooming Ribbon. Uh, bubble Shield, Bubble Bounce, that's it. So that will basically keep his health... Uh, doubled throughout the encounter, which is pretty nice. It's got to be said pretty nice indeed Yeah, just heal him up look at that 9,500 health. That's not too shabby at all is it and Vaughn is basically going to be the main damage dealer uh, what I am going to suggest is you know, I'm just gonna see what Penelo has got in terms of gambits I might get rid of her for this fight since she's my black mage and I don't really care about hitting him with that stuff so what I'm gonna do is take Penelo out, bring Balthea in, and Balthea is going to be exposing like thus, and that's going to lower his defense, the boss's defense that is, so as to take more physical damage from our attacks. Don't forget expose stacks, and it reduces his current defense, or the enemy's current defense by 10% each time. Though it doesn't always work, it can miss. I think it hits 70% of the time. So haste is recommended, but as I said, I am going to keep um, protect on as well. I'm not actually going to bother with haste. I'm going to see how we get on without it. Uh, it might be a, a bad idea, but I just want to see if it's possible so that we can save a haste to go our moat. We're going to keep Decoy on Varn. So there goes his haste. Or there goes on his haste, I should say. So this guy is basically um, a tank himself. He's level 42. Uh, with 65,000 health. So we're lowering his defense nicely here. I believe Expose can stack up six times, but the good thing about it is it is permanent throughout the fight. 
And as this fight goes on, the boss attacks faster and faster. So just bear that in mind as well. But with this bit of preparation, as you can see, it's going down very, very nicely indeed, it's got to be said. And with pretty much all the damage, apart from his Dark Rar attacks going on to Varn here, then we're laughing all the way to the end of the encounter. I'm going to turn Expose off for a bit now, so that Balthea can get a few attacks in. Uh, maybe we can try and steal as well, since things are going quite well. You can get a Storm Crystal from him, so nothing too exciting. Uh, but hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. Turn my Gambit's on. We've got a Dark Crystal. Fair enough. Turn those Gambit's off again, if we can steal any more, but I don't think we can. No. Dum de dum. Goodbye, steal. And I'm Balthy. I've done a while called him Balthy. I've never called him Balthy, and I'm hoping I'm never going to do that again. Look at that damage. That's harsh. That is harsh. But he's going down. If you struggle as he gets to low health, especially around the 20% mark, because his attacks are going so quicker, so much quicker, can't speak today, then uh, try and do a quickening chain. And if you have to bring in your reserve party members, if you are struggling because you're quite low level or whatever the case is, unleash quickening chain and he should drop pretty darn quickly. And I like the way he dies, he just kind of stays there again. It's a statue now, doesn't he? Interesting uh, death animation or death state. I guess he's like the guardian, isn't he? He's the guardian of this place. And uh, weary travellers have to think about whether they want to take him on before proceeding into the horrors that lie ahead. Rightio. So here's a new waste stone that's just appeared that's going to bring us further into the city itself. But before we do that, of course, we are going to head back and save our game. Since the save point is literally just one screen over. Whether you decide to save or not, once you've defeated the boss, we're going to be using this new waypoint. Waystone, even. And look, he's uh, all, all rocky now, isn't he? So we'll use this to take us into the next area. So this next area is known as the Tremala Water Steps. And it's basically a series of ramps guarded by uh, some fairly strong behemoths. So just bear in mind as you uh, make your way down this area. And also there's a few treasures that you might want to nab on the way, but we'll go ahead and defeat these behemoths first of all. Again, these are physical enemies, so you could do well to keep decoy on if needed. And bubble belt is useful uh, on your tank. Grab the loot here, and here we come to the uh, so the Avrio uh, Gate Stone. So these can turn off uh, the magical barriers that are around this place and turn them on uh, as well. So hang on, I'm going to leave that for the moment. I want to make sure I do this in the right order. You see, we're going to just continue down until we reach a barrier. <laughs> It, leveling up nicely and these guys as you can see are giving a nice amount of experience as well I just want to check something first make sure we didn't miss anything on this side I think we did didn't we okay right I am going to use this barrier so we can turn this green gate off then down here, there's some more tough enemies for us to face off against. It doesn't appear that they're flying enemies, despite the fact that they look like they were. And down here there might be a treasure chest that's one time spawned. I believe there is. 
Yes, so you'll want to grab this one. Contains a sash. Just check sash. I'm guessing it's an, it's an accessory. Yeah, not a very exciting one. It does give you immunity to slow though and resistance to fire. <laughs> so these mythical golems I like to put you in fire. Because that sash could actually come in useful, couldn't it? Grab the loot. A nugget of iron core. How lovely. Righty ho, so we're going to activate this gate stone here, and this is going to open a gate back up the ramp that we've just come down allowing us to progress even further. By the way, the behemoths that we've been fighting are weak to the ice element. So if you're struggling with them, because they do hit hard, especially when they patrol in packs, you can probably take them out quite easily with a, a nice Blizzagar spell. Remember, Blizzagar was available for Balfenheim Port, which we visited recently before we came to this place. So hopefully you did purchase that when I told you to, but if not, you can use the orange teleport crystal uh, back up the top here to go back there and buy that. And we're just going to follow this area around now. This was where the uh, green gate would have been blocking us, had we not turned it off. Incidentally, uh, just back up the north area here, there's a couple of treasure chests you can grab. Uh, though I don't think they're very exciting, but they are there if you want to get them. Right, these are the Marlborough they actually known as Vivians. I do like the Marvels in this game. I think they have uh, quite funny designs, don't they? Ah, could probably have done with a ribbon because we were fighting Marlborough. Still, I think that a couple of gambits, uh, well, in fact, just one gambit, uh, will fix. Stop. And we'll have Kronos tears for these. make our way around and eventually we're going to come to a dead end but I'll show you what to do there do uh, could probably do with bringing Bash in he's suffering a little bit isn't he gonna say good night to Balthea for the time being and we're gonna give him the um, Void a tip it, but we can't. Uh, Pinello, you don't need yours, do you? As soon as you're not gaining any experience whatsoever at the moment. There we go. Yeah. Remember, you don't gain experience while in the back rank. Only members of the active party do. Uh, but you do gain license points. So you want to keep the cat ear accessories on your back rank. Uh, party members, as long as they don't want to help here, of course. And that way, you're going to uh, get lots of gear as well. Right, so as you can see, once we've killed those golems, a green path appears here. If it hasn't appeared, it just means you didn't get close enough to the edge, so just go up closer and it shall do so. And we're just going to follow it and it will take us right into the next area. The Ardar Water Steps. And this area is basically an area that works in the same way uh, as the last one, with the added difference that the switches for the gates are in a slightly more uh, confusing setup. But don't worry, you've got me here to guide you. So we are, of course, just going to follow the linear path to begin with. And we do need to make our way through that gate there. But unsurprisingly, the gate stone here doesn't actually unlock this particular gate. It's 
See, nothing happens because this isn't the Parent Gate. So we're going to head on down. And I believe on the next ramp area, we'll find the stone to the gate that we've just ran past. Speed things up just a touch here. So we can traverse this area a little bit more quickly than we are. I do recommend opening that gate we went past because even though you don't need to do so to progress, there is actually a treasure that's located behind there. A one-time spawn treasure. So these gate stones are now guarded by these golems quite frequently, aren't they? And I was going to say try and avoid the elementals, but it looks like it's turned red on us. Are we killing it? Oh yes we are, very good. Just stay on top of your healing as always, because these elementals can be very tough. But hey, they do give nice experience. Okay, on that note, we're heading back up here. And again. I know it's a bit of a detour. But we do want to grab the chest. As you can see, it's now been saved. The gate that was previously active up here. And just slow things down a bit because this is the one time spawn treasure chest that we want to get. An Aegis shield, which is quite a nice shield actually. I don't think I need to equip it right now. Uh, Vaughn's already equipped it. It might be better than the Genji shield though. Uh, depends. For magic evade, it's awesome. So we'll see how we get on without it. So we'll just continue on around the ramps here. Taking out the Ripple Golems and pretty much every other enemy as we go. And we can open the Teachy Gate as well. Wow, they're coming out in droves now, aren't they? It's a good job we got the speed up feature. Around we go. So Bash has this weapon, by the way, just in case you're wondering why you keep seeing Disable popping up every now and then. Uh, that's what the Dragon Whisker gives you. A chance on hit to cast Disable on the enemy. Which isn't too shabby at all, is it? Right, should we know the treasure chest that spawns down here? Yeah. Doesn't look like it has done so, but it can do so. We do with moving that sap. I always forget who's got what remedy law, to tell you the truth. So maybe Van, uh, Fran should be able to do this. Easy. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, and we get another secret path. So slow down and to take us again into the next area. Uh, this time it's going to be a, a save point coming up.
can't shake the feeling we're somewhere we're not meant to be. Yeah, it's exciting. Exciting? You are not troubled by the unknown? Who can say what lies ahead? We may encounter the very creators of Nethersite. Yeah, I don't know what we'll find. I like it better that way. You're sounding more the Sky Pirate every day. Right, so we could see the Great Crystal, uh, which is ultimately our next destination. So down here you can get a treasure spawn, I recommend you go and grab it. This is Sleep Guy, you don't want to pass this up. Again, this is a one-time treasure, so once you've grabbed it, it won't spawn again. Not that you'd need it again. Since once you've got it, you've got it permanently. And here's that safe crystal. And this is a very unusual area. I hope you like the colour green. But I'm going to finish off here today, folks. So thanks ever so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you have, don't forget to leave a like. And come back soon for more Zodiac Age action. Cheers all. Take care.